Streets oddball. Streets oddball. I mean, yeah, we know that we can win. Like, we know that we should have won. It's whatever. We are just as mad as, like, you guys were. You know, we, we were telling ourselves, like, yeah, don't worry about it. We're all good. Like, yeah, we're going to do everything, and I will do everything in my power to make sure that uh, we improve on that. That's for sure. Turbine weekend. 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 Scuff controller, been using this scuff all year and uh, been shredding with it all year. Knock on wood. But yeah, been using the scuff instinct. Got some paddles and yeah, looking to be shredding. Looking to be shredding with this thing. Our preparation is what really like makes us feel comfortable. I feel like if you go into a, a tournament and you feel like you practice and you prepared your most or the most that you can possibly do, and so when you are going to perform your best, you can't go into a tournament feeling like you you lacked on a couple of days or you should have played this day or you should have put in those hours. So I think that we all made sure for any of these tournaments, we definitely did that. Yeah, we we were looking really good around the super, so we kind of knew like we could win it. Pretty easily. And welcome to the Halo Championship Series. My name is Lottie Van Prague, and this is the NA Super. And yes, we are back in North America. Man has a cross. Optic are going to be very, very strong online as well, and uh, yeah, they're a very strong team. And I think coming into this event for the first time, I really felt that Optic could be uh, a potential winner of this event. I think that they've got everything they need to become a champion. All right, make it five, make it five. It was all four dead for Optic. This is a phenomenal opportunity for Fnatic. It's in five, Joey's entire oh, yeah. Looking at Fnatic with an opportunity, Raimi with the triple. Touches your absolute. Set the five, get that double kill, make that triple kill. We have one with or two dead. rockets. Surely they have to win this event, right? This is everything that's leading up to it. Their scrims have been incredible. They've been dominating the team that they've been playing against. Aim here with the shock rifle. It's another double. Can he hit the triple? <laughs> do it, do it. Get me over. No. The killing spree for Lucid. He doesn't care about the cat. That's going to do it for game one. They have no fear. Yeah, morning time, morning time. Double stack, double stack, double stack. He's our one shot. Going as he talks to I'm heading tower, guys. I'm heading more slaves. Probably is double stack. Yeah. That OBJ in the end early. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> is Sephiroth <Yeah>. serious? <laughs> Dude, not a bullet miss. He's you start like, hacking? That was what insane. Was that? that was just like, I've never experienced that ever. That was insane. You guys I mean, were like, you guys were like, no. And I'm just like, he got you got one this guy. <laughs> Dude, that was insane. I was like, no. Bro, that was so funny. Like, it, it happened one time, and then it happened again. And then it happened again, and I was just like, okay, this is like, 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 okay, like this. It's always, uh, it's always a vibe being with the team. It's always a good time. We just always enjoy each other. It's never like a bad or a dull moment. So it's always a great time being with the team. Make sure you another one, Gold Chairs. Gold Chairs, make onboard. Gold Chairs, one shot onboard. Formal. Now with a sword and a shock, the responsibility to take on here. And of course, you know he'll execute. No more ammo. Tags him! Bottom tower and Gold Chairs. Fuck you. Nice. Let's go. What's up, boys? Let's go. What the fuck's up now? Stop chowing that, brother. Holy <laughs> shit. I'm trying to tell you. If we're gonna push, make sure we commit to it. Don't second guess. Just keep, like, just push him. Push them. Play to our advantages. Rockets, guys, 10 seconds. Good, distractor. Watch out, ball, balls one. Boot camping, just in general for us, is always gonna be good. Vibes are always good. I think I feel like we try 10 times harder when we're all together in person. And just practice overall is way more productive. So having all the guys here, uh, Prepping for the Super was probably the best thing for us, and the result showed. It was great. Good fucking place. Yeah, he was shielding in the event, but he like couldn't, like, couldn't shoot me. Bro, what is this, bro? <laughs> <laughs> They went very well. We won 3-0, just got done playing G1, 3-0. Uh, played Fnatic earlier. Skeptify went Jason Bourne mode on us, it was actually insane. 
uh, 3-0 there, and yeah, we went 9-0 map count pretty well. Played really, really good though. The real tournament begins tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, uh, any time we weren't playing, we were watching the COD, uh, COD finals. Like we could, we could watch, you know, a match here and there. I'm sure we were all watching it like the whole time. It, it, That's insane! Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this was insane! Oh my god! Oh my god! That is nuts! Yeah, that is the most insane match I've ever seen. Yeah, that's insane. They were down 200 to 240. They just kind of sell off his like, watch watches, watches. Look, one dies, and look, it's just him. It's just him. It's one. Just oh my god. And just the third oh guy. my god. He's so jacked for that. Holy he's shit. So he he single-handedly won the game himself. <laughs> that was actually insane. Maybe it was yeah, the I game he died there, right? Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. There was four of them there. That was, yeah. there. Yeah. That was insane. insane. Damn. That was insane. He's so jacked. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking, he just did Orbital VSAT online. <laughs> <laughs> the, the human UAV? Human UAV, that's uh, that's formal. Oh, is that mass callouts? That's what that is? That's what I oh thought. I thought God. I had heard Gold door it. pushing, gold door pushing, 25 weak. Battle trap, health, sky, battle trap, health. Pine bat, two of them, pine bat, two of them. I'm glass me, I'm glass me, I got a nade on him. He's running on the open. Drop the cover, drop the cover. He's right here, spikes, spikes right here, spikes right here. I'm dead, Tony, one shot, dead, another one hill. Rockets are out, rockets are out, rockets are out. Uh, I mean, it's just kind of like my play style. Uh, I like to go in first, just get a bunch of info for the team, get a whole bunch of a week. And then hopefully they come in and clean it all up. Yo, one's going down for final for ball. On ball right now, on ball right now. And bottom guys, and bottom guys. So that's gold set, gold set. Balls, balls, I'm trying to hit. Low top purple. And he would say, like, wow, like nobody communicates like Halo players. Yeah, yeah. He brought it to Call of Duty, and then when he went back to Halo, it's like he had refined that skill. I've been, I've been, I'm... Wait, one shot right here, purple. Absolute swallowing, absolute swallowing. Uh, benches. He's just a walking radar because he's telling, he's telling you where everything that's going to happen, where everybody's going to be. Do you guys know what the Blackbird is? It's just like a kill streak that literally shows every position of the enemy team on the map, and that's pretty much what, what it's like with the map on the team, so. Run, 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 run. Top out, come out, jump front up, front up, one shot, close left. He's front up on the staircase, on the on purple staircase, weak, half health. Kill Sky Tower, Kill Sky Tower, Kill Sky Tower. So I think that's one of the best, best parts of our team is that we all like have amazing situational awareness due to our communication, and that is a big part of what map brings. I think he's right here in Midbridge. I think I just saw Midbridge. Yeah, yeah, see Midbridge, Midbridge, Midbridge. I hear the gold door call. I hear the gold door call. I'm getting out, I'm getting out, I'm getting out. Yeah, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. Batteries, 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 batteries collect me, batteries collect me. So, the human UAV is just like, I mean, I, I, I'd like to think I have pretty good comms, and a lot of people seem to think so as well, so they call me the human UAV. And, uh, yeah, my teammates love it. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. We are into day number two, and it means we are into the championship bracket. Optic versus Space Station Gaming. First series of the day is Optic warmed up. Did APG wake up on the right side of the bed? Has he had his coffee? I know the guy has a morning routine. If it was interrupted, maybe Space Station have an opportunity here. Oh my god. We get a shot. We just gotta make sure. Oh to play around as well. Oh, oh, be aggressive. The ball is over in tram. Space Station know they got to deal with formal, but it's got cover as well. Look at this push, look at this aggression. Trippy came in to assist. Oh and all God. the meanwhile, that's going to be four dead. First time we're seeing two of the big three finally meeting up here in our winner's bracket semi-final. Oh, guys, pushing up purple. He's APG bottom. is making a desperate play towards this B stronghold. He will chop down. Rail will chop. Rail will chop down. Absolutely. Absolute tires. Absolute tires. Oh, his teammates step inside of it. And he he will flip in the end, it looks like. No, it won't. It, it won't take taking the kill trap cap here at the 240 mark. Amazing play coming in from Formal. They stop Eco getting that conversion. Now you have a 1v1 on B, though. It turns into a 2v1. Stella, goodbye. Nice. Oh, baby. Good clutch. So they're going to paint up Stella here on the scoreboard, make it 11 5. When you're a player like Lucid Killing Spree, by the way. Oh, my God. Jigsaw trap, dude. Yep. And APG and Trippy combining to take one down. Stellar versus Trippy. Trippy will win that one. This flag should go back if he's able to pick oh, up. Oh, look out! Trippy! He's not going to stop it. APG brings it in. Four to one now. Let's get five caps. Let's get fucking five caps. I'm here, man. Who's going to stop him? Who is going to stop this Optic Gaming lineup? But for now, Optic Gaming look final.
Oh, thank you. Whoever got the hand warmers, thank you. A lot of teams uh, flew in for for that, like not just us, like I know Sen was here, C9 was here, FaZe was here, like all the top teams were in Dallas or Texas. So um, it was like the most fair online tournament we could have had and we were still doing really well. So it was obviously a really good sign and playing next to each other is obviously really good too. We've seen a lot of teams have moved to, well, pretty much Texas to play in this one. They want to get the best ping yeah. possible in these <laughs> online tournaments. <laughs> and you can understand why, because there is so much on the line when you're going up against the best players in the world. You have to give yourself the best opportunity to do so. But this is a winner's bracket final, right? Yeah. So the team who wins this goes into the grand final with a series advantage. If Optic can do yes, that, that is huge for them. This is probably the most important series of the entire tournament. And here it comes in, drop the gaming. That bring is, it in. Awesome. You never want to see that when you have that camo. You want to be playing aggressive as a team, but loose it with the elevator, guys. Close, but oh my god, <laughs> loose it individual with the... point of view right there. And this is a very oh, difficult oh, position. Oh, 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 nice, let's go, baby. Nice shit. 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 Oh, nice. Big win. We're in the uh, grand finals now. We just won 3 1 over uh, Sentinels. Close series the last two games. Got uh, got tight, so big win for us. It is so hot in Texas. It is so hot in Texas. Every time I walk out, I'm just dripping. G1 taking down Cloud9, taking down Sentinels, and now in front of them, the final boss, so to speak, of the Halo Championship Series. They're going to take down Optic Gaming. Beach four times, but it's Sunday night, my friends. That you know what that means. It's time for a grand final to kick off. Sign off with the point of view of Trippy from Opti. Bottom, bottom, yeah, two level, two level, two level. Bottom tower week, seven. We gotta live, guys. We gotta live. Screens out, let's go. Another one here, another one here. It's one more spike. Oh my god. Alright, outside, alright, outside. Grab the jump. Another one here, another one here. Let's go, top down. Let's go, let's go. Nice. Let's go, baby. Shit, shit. Let's go. Fucking job. Let's go, boys. Oh, good fucking job. Hell yeah. Matt, you gotta do the interview if you didn't see. Let's go. Uh, if you will. It's in the Let's Discord. Go. Tommy, good shit. Shit, bro. Good Tommy. Shit. Let's go. Brad, Matt. Shit, Matt. Let's go. Woo! Let's get it. Woo! GG. Oh. GG. Oh. GG. Oh. This kid's got it up. Played the end so Let's bad. Go. So, so bad. Sir, GG's all around. God damn. Drop in one game today. One game. Joey, stay That's live. it. All tourney long. Let's go. Feeling good. Tired. I'm hot. But, you know, practice makes perfect. Remember that. Practice makes perfect. So. I am so tired. I am so tired. But it was a good birthday present. Birthday tomorrow. If you're watching this, my birthday's the next day at midnight. So, reason to celebrate. During the super, uh, what did we even drop? How many maps did we even drop? I don't even, we dropped one map. Okay, yeah, I don't even remember. I, all I know is that we played some fantastic Halo. I don't wanna say perfect, but we played pretty much damn near perfect Halo uh, the whole time. In the super, it was like a, a really big confidence boost for us because it was a culmination of everything I said before, like what we talked about, whether it's in-game, um, how we receive information, Everything that we talked about leading up to that moment, uh, we really, really executed, and it really showed in our performances and just like clutching out those uh, close games. So uh, I think that the Super was just like, uh, just a sign for us knowing that going forward that we have what it takes. You need the flash? I don't think I you need like, it. I think you can take it. Like, That's all you. Oh man. Watch it spin on it too. <laughs> yeah, turn the flash off. You did? Dude, that sucks. So That's so good. Love that. Love that. Just a low key. Happy birthday to Bradley Sorry. Oz. Thank you. How old are you? A pure gangs. 28. Right. He doesn't have to share, by the way. He's <laughs> <laughs> right, case. That's all you know. Look at you. Let's go. Fuck yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
over the past couple of months, I've just been trying to slow my gameplay down a little bit. Uh, I think I'm at a good point now where all the damage I'm doing is like really important and it's, it's not just like useless damage, which I think was like something I was struggling with when I first switched back over to Halo. Yeah, I mean, I've been learning a lot, learning like the right pace and uh, yeah, it's, it's been it's been really, really good. What's your name? What's your name, Lethal? Uh, of course, of course. You always see the online comments, but it's just like, it's like, it's not wrong until we do what we're supposed to do. <laughs> I mean, for us, especially after winning the phase tournament and then going into the KC, unfortunately getting third and then again, repeat repeating that same process with the super. Especially if you're not winning lands, like, and you're only winning online, like, I would say the same thing. If this I, is the I, moment I, you all have been waiting for. Your grand vinyls off the gaming sentinels. I take it as like a compliment at the same time because I think of it as a good thing. Like people think of you, you should be winning these tournaments, so you need to perform when you get to that lane environment. Nice fucking plays, Brad. Good fucking shit, bro. Game number seven is gonna be here on Live Fire Optic Havoc. For, for me, it pers personally, it makes me try harder, even harder when people say that stuff. Wash off a little of the sweat from this series, Tony. Four will still rip his face, his back tower while he comes back. Optic Gaming are your champions. I think, I think Optic are ready to get their first land win. And it might just come next week. We all wanted to prove not only to ourselves, but and everyone pretty much rooting against us that we know how good we are and we know that, you know, we just need to prove it on land. Welcome to the Halo Championship Series live from the Orange County Convention Center in the beautiful Orlando, Florida, the final major of the year. It's going to be very interesting. I'll tell you what, I've got some interesting storylines for you guys to talk about on the desk. And the first one being, I think, the team that's on everyone's minds to figure out where they're at in this land. That's Optic. Online, undoubtedly, have been the strongest, but have fallen short every time they've come to land. But I think they have what it takes, absolutely. These guys have put in the work. They are the most practiced team coming into this tournament. They have so much momentum riding in. This is a massive moment for them to show the world that they are champions in their own right. And what a massive one that would be going into Worlds to set the tone, to set the pace, to be that number one seed. That would be something special. Optic versus FaZe. This is a match that could very well be match of tournament. I mean, personally, I think going into Kansas City, I was a little more excited than I was going into Orlando. Kansas City, I just wanted to like, just like win super quick and just be like, yes, let's go. I know it's just pool play, I know it's Friday, but in my opinion, this series is gonna be very important. It's gonna tell an important story. Just look at this, those rockets not really being a great effect that either side. So knowing going into them, we knew that would be our hardest match possibly over the entire weekend, especially, and it would like kind of dictate our entire tournament as well. All these players, oh no. look at oh, that, no. what? So I know heading to that match, we really, really wanted to prove something to them. So in between deaths, take a deep breath, like just reset, not worry about anything. I think that's like just really what it takes. You just be, have to be calm. You just have to like not let those nerves get to you. Off the gaming, need to find an answer right here, right now. And it was weird, like after we were down 2-1, it still felt like we were all just so locked in. It didn't feel like we were nervous at all. Like it felt like we were, we, we were gonna win that series. We're starting the spot for phase is looking scary. Basically just like playing a little bit slower, playing more disciplined and just being more calm in high pressure situations. And I think that in those game fives or those game sevens that we've had recently that we really like pull out because that's what I think to makes a championship team is actually winning those game fives. I want to see Optic in a game five against one of the big four. The Optic yeah. were dominating online scrims. They, were, I was saying they're the favorites and then they get into those game fives and they lose game fives. They lose games they should have been winning and they get punished for it. I think as a team and as players, you need to kind of gain some battle scars over time, right? And that means losing game fives that means losing close series and optic have done that now to a point where they've been in the situations against the best in the world and they've come out on the wrong side of it but now they know what they've done wrong now they know what they have to adjust and now they know how the pressure has to be handled in those big moments this time i kind of just took it you know kind of took a step back because i learned a lot at kansas city i never really like got ahead of myself like that before so it was a good takeaway to just kind of slow it down and just, you know, take it match by match. Don't like think about random shit. Like KC was just the biggest fuel because it showed us like, all right, we're right there. Like we just need to tweak a few things. And that's what's going to make you a championship team is those small, small details. And that's what we changed going forward into Orlando. Let's do it. Game five. Who's going to walk away in a pivotal victory here? I really get a little worried for off the gaming here. That's going to be six kill lead here for FaZe. 
Not the position that I don't think a lot of uh, Optic fans thought that they'd see their team be in right now. You don't even realize that a Slayer is like pulling away as as it is, like until it's like you're down six or seven, and then kind of after the scene regain. It's just like two bad team fights, you're down eight kills. So every single kill is very important. Like every time you stay alive, it makes a difference. It all adds up. So when everyone started clicking and we started like really getting on the same page. And we're right back at this one. It's a one kill game, Dave. Back to a close game. You know that phase was hyped up before because they had that massive lead. They're Formal goes down. Probably jump on over to Lucis. POV! And there it is! After a grueling war, Optic Gaming gets the win! And like Matt said, just resilience. And we showed a lot of it. And I think that's like, that that series right there, I think was one of the most important series of, for our team, just to show that, like, you know, all, as I said, like for the Super, all, everything that we talked about, like came to that moment and it worked out, but especially for it to happen in a land environment with the crowd that loud, it was definitely very good. Uh, the face series is actually like one of the most important series we played the whole weekend, because if we would have lost to them in game five of that, we would have had a whole different bracket. So obviously when that match turned out to be way more important than we knew at the time. Um, it was a good test of resiliency for us because we went down one, two in the series. It's whatever, they took two games and we just battled back. It was it was good to get it like that type of match under our belt early in the tournament instead of just throwing them and going into bracket like undefeated again. Um, I'd rather have like a little test before we go to bracket, so. Us winning that was just like, that set the pace for the tournament, like for us. Like we really, I'm so glad we won that. This is where it is make or break for a lot of these teams. Am team coming into full play in Halo and beating the pro teams is like a real shocker. Not a shocker, but it's gonna make you turn your head and pay attention. So I wasn't too worried. That was like a that was a good round one for us. Moment 62 today. No, and it's another one for formal. Their best performance of the series so far. Lucid just put it Yeah, I mean, this bracket so far, uh, it's been clean sweeps. Um, just looking forward to the rest of the weekend. Not much really else to it. We're here to have some fun, but play some great Halo. United was weird because they just picked up Eric, uh, slammed down, and they're kind of still like newer. And we didn't really know what to expect, but Ryan who kind of runs like a tight ship over there. We knew it was going to be the same United that we're used to. Ryan's going to pull something out of his sleeve or something. The green wall chance ring out already. We haven't even kicked off. Harvey United packed the sledgehammer. As Formal who loses out, but it's not for long. A killing frenzy oh! for Trippy. Ryan who goes down and it means it's another four kill gap, making a five kill gap. Formal on a tear. And just like that, no Formal! Almost gets himself an overkill. Let's go! I mean, it's always a blessing when you get to play on a champ Sunday, especially still in winner's bracket. It's, it's you just know that you're, you're you've got to be doing something right to get to that point. I felt as good as I could possibly feel on a Sunday morning. I'm not gonna lie. I was so confident because, again, things just started to click. We were like the most calm and collected we've been, like ever. Let's just keep it rolling. We know what we're doing right. 
each team we can treat the same. We just keep playing our game and keep to our goals. We were, we were in this position in Kansas City, but this time we came out, we just like came out with some fire. I just remember before that series, I like told my team, like I was like, just treat this like any other series. Do not feel any pressure. We have literally nothing to lose right now. Like just play your hearts out. Just take it one game at a time. Have some fun. Hey, play how we've been playing. Welcome back to the HCS Orlando Major. It's day three, it's Championship Sunday, and we move on to our winners' finals. But Optic, they've had a lot of pressure coming into this tournament. There's a lot of eyes on that stage right now and on the Greek all side. I wanted to prove to them that we can dominate them. This is massive. The winner's advantage you get if you win this match in that grand final cannot be understated. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I think we carried the flow of Game 5 in our series against them as like the flow of the rest of the series. Camouflage, making sure that Trippy couldn't do anything with it, but now it's the push. Camera to get the kill! No, Trippy denies! We know exactly how we want to win games instead of just like winging it. And we're really decisive with our cons. Like anything that we do, we kind of just do it. I could feel that we were finally like starting to hit form. And they're going to keep it in their pockets. All four dead, triple kill for Lucid. And it's like kind of like what Matt said the last tournament. Like you'll just start to feel it. You can just feel the teamwork instinctively happen. Three down for FaZe Clan. They're alive here in the winner's final, but four will connect again. Eight seconds remaining then. Desperation on the side of FaZe Clan. Formal fires a shot, but it does not even need to connect. And I think it is. some fun that was like the main thing I was saying like have fun with this like you can't focus on the thought of winning too much because then you're gonna get so caught up in like trying to win that you're just not realizing like yo you can have fun with this and I think we had a lot of fun with the way that we played that weekend. 3-0 I just knew that if we kept playing the way that we were playing we were gonna win I know that the mental mountain that the other team has to climb is, is big. Two best of sevens against a team that's undefeated is very hard. And it's hard for all four people to really believe they can do that. It's Sunday night here in Orlando, and you know what that means, people. It's time for a grand final, Andy. Just going in that finals, we just knew, like, yo, we can do whatever we want. Yeah, our, our momentum and our, our confidence was like an all at an all-time high. The Cloud9, well, I, everybody, Orlando, it's time for us to crown the champion. That was like my third finals I've been in. Knowing my parents were there, my girlfriend was there, all the green wall was there, so many fans. My mom, my dad. Seeing them and seeing all the support that we had, it kind of, you know, it, it made me like zen mode, I guess you could say. It was just beautiful. I get, I like the only way to put it. It's beautiful. I was glad like my parents got to see it. I have, it's funny, because I have noise canceling earbuds. When you hear the chants and you hear people get loud, I can still hear it. You're trying to be as silent as possible. It's a great energy to have in the uh, venue like that. And uh, it was very special. It was during the, it was, I'll never forget, it was during the Catalyst game, and then Jason's like, yo, we need to get this OS, somebody drop on OS, and no one shoots me, I get it for free. Do whatever you want, I don't think we can lose. It's just like, everything's working, it's like the best feeling ever. And at that point, I was like, yeah, we just start running at these guys together, and we trade and we win. And like, you hear like, the crowd chanting like, three, and then like, two and one. And I think like, that's the moment, because we all like, felt it, we were just like, really calm.
winning Orlando was one of the one of the best things ever in my life, literally. A testament to our grit and the respect and the faith that we had in each other. It felt great. Um, I was just really happy for, uh, for Joey and Tommy. It's like, your first win is a special one. It's one that you'll never forget. All the hours we put in, all the talks, everything, and I, I, I was happy to do it with this group, of, uh, this group of guys. Like, we really, really put in the work together. You know, if, if Matt is gonna win a chip, which I knew he was going to, in Halo again, I wasn't missing that. Just seeing them all on stage smiling and shit, I was just, I was just standing there like, man, this kind of makes me want to cry. It's good, baby. Yeah, it feels great. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, <laughs> all right, so do we eat? Now it's time to eat. It's super surreal to see so much family and you know loved ones all around. Uh, it's a, it's a blessing. And congratulations on the dub. Let's have a go one, and Worlds is a month from now. Cheers, yeah. Joe. Yeah, cheers, Joe. Yeah, so all that support, and then to win in front of that, like they get to witness it as it is, that is extra special. That, that is a, an amazing feeling that I definitely won't forget. Yeah, just like proving to myself that I do still have it, and not just like, you know, it's not just words. I don't know, I hadn't won in so long, like actually won, so it was really nice. Literally the perfect event. The gameplay, to the family, to the crowd. Okay. Obviously me and Hitch being there. <laughs> Duh. Couldn't have been a more perfect uh, Halo event for the Optic team. Yeah. Pretty much when I got home, I was like, all right, that victory felt amazing, but it's time to feel that same feeling again in two to three weeks with Worlds coming around the corner. As, as a person, I feel very, like, just calm. I feel like I need to be the best player I can be, be the best person I can be, be the best just human being I can be. We have the biggest tournament to prepare for, and it's just a matter of what we just did, try to contain it, and let's make it happen again. I think a lot of teams just were praying that we didn't win just because we are so dominant online and now that we've done that on LAN, it's like, it's gotta be scary. So I think that Orlando was a really, really good test for us and I think that Worlds, we're gonna look really, really good. We'll see you in three weeks.